Hey guys, I'm Paula and welcome to my channel. Hello? Hey guys, I'm Paula and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be um, a short, quick one, just kind of to explain, um, to talk about these three different clubs that I went to in Vegas. I really hope that it helps you because when I went there, I was like, what do I wear? And obviously at the end of the day, like it doesn't matter what you wear, but you kind of want to be on the same page to kind of get the vibe and most importantly, not be not be not let in so you want to be let in because i know some places are strict on dress codes so if you don't look the look you can't get inside if you guys haven't seen my look um my vlog lookbook my lookbook if you guys haven't seen my lookbook vlog of my five days in vegas i'll leave that in the description below for you guys to see um all my looks that i wore every single day and talking about where i got the outfits but without any further ado let's jump into this video I really wish I could talk about more clubs, but the three clubs we went to was Encore, Excess, and Hakkasan. Encore and Excess are owned by the same company called Win Nightlife. Correct me if I'm wrong. So their house DJs are the same. Excess, Encore, both have chain smokers, Aliso, Galantis, Marshmallow. Um, so they just basically play at both clubs, which is really exciting because you can see the same DJs in a different type of atmosphere. So Encore, I found that when I arrived at this club, they were really strict on what you can to can bring in. No edibles and no pointy sharp objects. They really dug into your things. And a matter of fact, they actually flipped my bag and everything just fell out. Fell out. So they took away my, um, uh, like, what's it called? Tweezers. I had fake lashes on and obviously when it's really hot out they could sometimes lift So I brought tweezers with me and they just took them away and they didn't even give them back They're like nope, you can't pick them up. We just have to throw them away So if you guys don't want to be donating anything that night Don't bring anything sharp or dangerous and no edibles not even gum, which is crazy What? Um, but when you do walk in on the left hand side, there are lockers for you guys to rent So if you guys have a change of clothes or just like things you don't want to be carrying around That's a great option. Um, and it is a day club as well like a day beach club So during the day you can use that as well Obviously and they have towels to use what I don't like about this club is the pool the walkways around it I find are so so small Especially when it gets really really busy. You don't want to be walking in the crowd You want to be walking on the edge which means you're in between crazy sweaty people dancing and the pool with people splashing around so be careful first of all and it is a little bit more of a casual club um like i didn't wear heels that night because that's what people just told me they're like oh you don't have to wear heels like it's not really the thing and when i got there i was actually quite surprised and that it was more like casual apparel so what i did was i paired it with a american eagle american eagle, american apparel bodysuit with shorts with some flats and then just like a nice belt that i made myself and then when we got there i just took my shorts off and just had the bodysuit and i felt like i fit in it was pretty uh similar to what everyone else was wearing um and I felt comfortable in it. Like I wasn't like, ooh, like not everyone else is wearing this. You know what I mean? Um, but you obviously did see some other people like you could, you can wear whatever you want, but that was just what everyone was wearing. Not a lot of people were wearing heels and if so wedges, I just find that it was like pretty slippery given the fact that like there's a wall, it, it's, they should have that organ like better made that because there's a pool it shouldn't be as slippery But I was in flats and I found it was a little bit slippery So if you guys are wearing heels, just be careful and to be in the pool at nighttime was a gong show It was actually really bumping every like a lot of people were in there. It wasn't empty whatsoever um, And then around the pool it was just like the tables and people walking around but I found it was really hard to get around because like You're either in a crowd or you're by the pool. So it's kind of like awkward um they also do have showers and a water fountain. Keep them in the water fountain is not really delicious. It actually tastes really gross. Um, and then if you guys want to shower after being in the pool, I highly recommend it because who knows what goes on in there. Next up, we have Excess. And Excess is right next to Encore, like a little bit further away in the same area. And um, like I said, it's really similar. However, it's not. It has a pool as well. However, it has a really big indoor area and it has like an upstairs lounge area only if you have the booths. You can only go upstairs if you have a booth upstairs. So when you walk in, it's like super duper fancy. Then you're exposed to like the DJ tables and then the dance floor right in front of you. And that's just the inside part. Then you go around to the right and then down the hall, like down the path and there's you're now exposed to the outside part so there's an indoor club outdoor area where there's the pool i was really surprised to see not a lot of people in the pool compared to 
encore. However, people are still in there, just not as much. And because there is a really big indoor area, it was a lot more dressy, like dressed up. So yeah, it was actually really nice as people really dressed up and like just kind of glitz and glam and just think of like Vegas outfits. Like it was people weren't really in shorts. Like it was more skirts and dresses, um, like tube tops. I also really liked excess because when um, like the main DJ came on, there was a lot of like uh, fire and like those exhaust things that go and just like let out air. So they really go ham with it. It happens really frequently. So I thought that was really cool because there's so many photo opportunities to get like maybe you with the fire in the background. And last but not least, we have Hawkesan. The home to Calvin Harris and Tiesto! And the MGM. Um, it's very similar to Omnia. They're both indoor clubs. Like a typical club, actually not a typical club. It's massive, it's humongous, and it's very intense. Like if you guys are gonna go all out, <laughs> go all out when you go to these clubs because they're just like really full on and I'm, they're a lot more stricter with dress codes than the other ones. I actually got kicked out. Don't take your bra off. I was wearing a mesh shirt and I originally wanted to not wear the bra just so it's like a little bit more edgy and I don't like wearing bras. So I'm not wearing one right now. I just wanted to be free and it's not like it was showing too much. Like I don't have massive tits. Yeah, I got kicked out because they're like, no. Nah. So they let me in with a bra, but if you take your bra off, and I, I don't I don't know. Basically, be careful. And um, but people were wearing here were like just like over the top. You can go from tight dresses, short dresses, um, tube tops, kind of like bodysuits mixed like with a skirt. You can pretty much wear, I don't want to say anything, but just think glam and sexy um there is a dj like there's a dance floor and it gets really really full in there so if you're like in the middle or like just in the core of it no one's gonna see your shoes girl so i would recommend maybe like if you are gonna be, like consider being in that area the entire time like don't go all out with your heels because you will be standing a lot. Not a lot of people were sitting because like you're just dancing the entire time. And then there's also an upstairs area which is really cool and there's just like booths and tables all around there. And there's an outdoor area um, just to get some fresh air. However, keep in mind it is an indoor area and you are allowed to smoke. So if you're like having the time of your life and you're like not a smoker and you smell it and you're like, ugh, it's probably because there's someone smoking nearby you and that is allowed. Not hating on people that smoke. I just personally don't like the smell. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys want more information and kind of just to see the vibe of the places, um, check out my lookbook vlog. That's going to be in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> oh no, that better not be my outro.